though I'm an attorney, uh, I am not your attorney, and neither is Frankencraft. Uh, this video you're about to see is for informational purposes only, and does not create an attorney-client relationship between you, the viewer, and either me or my law firm, Frankencraft. Everyone's situation is different, uh, and the advice that we give is not appropriate for everyone. If you have specific issues and concerns, please talk to an attorney in person uh, because their advice may differ from the one you're about to see. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Alan Reese with the law firm of Frank and Kraft answering another frequently asked question we get uh, about elder law. So today's question is, uh, can a nursing home expect me to pay for my parents' medical expenses? Now this is a great question because the question I'm giving today is different than the one I would have given a few years back. Now, this question sort of hinges on uh, a set of laws, um, a set of old laws that are on the books um, that have rarely been enforced until very recently called filial responsibility laws. Filial responsibility laws are laws that hold children liable for their parents' care under some circumstances. Now, uh, when these laws were put on the books, it was a long time ago and the world was a very different place. But as nursing home care has gotten more expensive, um, and since Medicaid has become much more difficult to become eligible for to pay for long-term care, there's been some suspicion that nursing homes will attempt to use these filial responsibility laws in order to get their bills paid, not from the patients, but from the patient's children. Uh, and in fact, uh, last year in May in the state of Pennsylvania, the uh, a Pennsylvania appeals court found uh, that a son was liable to pay for his mother's $93,000 nursing home bill under the state's filial responsibility law. Now, what does that mean? Is this an unusual result or is this something we're going to see more of? Um, the short answer is we don't know. Um, we do know that 29 states have filial responsibility laws on the books, including the state of Indiana. So arguably, a nursing home could make a, the same argument that the nursing home made in Pennsylvania. And if the Indiana courts decided to rely on the decision of that Pennsylvania Appeals Court, you could see nursing homes attempting to collect from people's children the bills that their parents incur. This is a, uh, an area of law that is changing. It is interesting. It's also a bit scary. Um, it's something we're going to stay on top of, and if it's a concern, it's something you should discuss with a qualified elder law attorney. Uh, I hope that at least answers some of the questions you may have. Uh, feel free to Google feel your responsibility. Uh, to see the relevant statutes in Indiana or in other states. Uh, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have uh, right here on the Elder Law Channel. Thank you much. Take care.